All right, this one is basically, it's a completely blind. Uh, when the door opens, the dog's view is going to be completely obstructed. So when the door shuts behind my husband and my son, it's actually, uh, or, my, or my son and my dog, it's actually going to be a much uh, smaller space. And the reason I'm doing this with this particular dog is she's a little bit more animated um, and tends to be very direct in her interactions with other dogs. So basically this is a real good test, especially for Romeo, just by virtue of the fact that he has a tendency to be a little obtuse when it comes to dogs that um, are obtuse with him. Come here, guys. Here. No, no. Let's go. Good. Right there. Now, as you can see, if there's three, three and a half feet in here, that's a lot. So this is even more of a confined space. Now, he's got dogs behind him in the laundry room. Um, quit. And my husband is kneeling down. So basically, again, you know, we're going to allow him to use his investigative properties while the um, elevator door opens and a dog and a human enter. Good, good. Very nice. Now they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. They have danger behind them and danger in front of them. And they're actually making some really good choices. So we're actually going to leave it at that um, and call it a day. So.